What's on ladies and gentlemen, my name's Ross, I like games, and today we are opening a Transformers trading card game starter pack. Now, I wasn't going to do an opening of this, I mean I bought one, obviously I bought one. I wasn't planning on doing an opening. And then I saw a whole bunch of posts from people over the internet saying, hey, is this worth buying? And then I thought, well hang on a second, is it worth buying? I don't know what's in this, clearly you can see the character cards. I don't know which battle cards are in this. There's no list. When you buy, say, a Pokemon TCG theme deck, and I know some of you do watch my other channel, PTCG Radio, we know what's in the theme decks. I can tell you if they're good or not. I don't know what's in this. So I think we need to crack it open and have a look. However, first thing to note, yes, it is worth buying this. And the reason is exceedingly simple. These character cards are, at least at the moment, not available anywhere else. Now, by my count, two of them are pretty good, two of them are not. Now, I quite like the Bumblebee. Now, the Bumblebee's not amazing. It is a six cost. When you flip it over into car mode, all of your characters get PS1. As long as you're doing one damage, you guarantee one damage gets through. And on the other side, all of your characters have tough one. You flip an extra battle card when defending. I mean, the stats are all right. A six cost is fine. And, I mean, the stats are a little bit low. But they're pretty good in bot mode. And it is only a six cost at the end of the day. Similarly, I quite like the Optimus Prime. Bold one. You flip one more battle card when attacking. That's in bot mode. And then in truck mode, when you flip to it, you draw a card. It's not stunning. It's not amazing. But it's a 7 cost, and the stats are okay, and the skills are alright. But then we get to say Ironhide, which it's just a vanilla card. There's nothing, there's no skills or anything on Ironhide here. There, it's just a very vanilla card. It is a 6 cost, which is low, but the stats aren't particularly good. And similarly, Red Alert is a 6 cost, but the stats aren't particularly good, and there's no skills. I mean, look, in bot mode, 10 health, 5 attack is good. But the zero defense is just not good enough. So, okay, these cards aren't great. But you never know. We don't know what cards are going to come out in future. We don't know what decks are going to come out in future. It may well be that there are some car or truck decks that just desperately need a six cost. Boom. But the Optimus Prime and Bumblebee I do quite like. And like I said, these cards are exclusive to the starter pack. You ain't getting them anywhere else. So, yeah, you should pick one up. Plus, if you want to learn how to play, you can play it with either one or two players, which is pretty cool. So, straight off the bat, I don't know, I, I legit don't know what battle cards are in here. We're just about to hopefully crack it open and have a gander. But even without knowing the battle cards that are in there, the fact that you're getting four exclusive character cards. I mean, look, you can only play one in your deck. So, if you're like me, you want one of every character card, just in case. But... Oh, and you get some damage counters as well. They're kind of cool. But honestly, I think it's worth it just to get the character cards. So what do we actually get? We've got a team up tactics. Not bad. Quite good for both cars and trucks. I can live with that. We've got an armor plating, which I'm not a big fan of. Plus one armor is not amazing. Data pad I like very much. It's a utility. It's an upgrade. You pop it on a uh, transformer. I might occasionally say Pokemon because I'm used to talking about Pokemon. Please don't hate me. Draw a card when you attack. Debilitating Crystal I like quite a lot because you just get rid of upgrades. Flamethrower is good. Grenade Launcher is great. Flamethrower gives you bold two. You flip two more cards when attacking. Grenade Launcher gives you plus four attack. It goes at the end of your turn, but it's great. Handheld Blaster, it's not great. It gives you bold one, but it does have the two blue icons, which there's only two cards that do. Similarly, Improvised Shield gives you Tough One, which isn't amazing, but you got the two orange icons there that I like very much. Incoming Transition, okay for a little bit of draw power. Inspiring Leadership, draw three cards, scrap two cards from your hand, it's alright. Leap Into Battle, I adore, gives one of your characters plus three for this turn. It's awesome. I mean, you combine Leap Into Battle with Grenade Launcher and you've got a lot of attack there. New design lets you play an extra upgrade during your turn. In some decks where you really focus on upgrades, that's amazing. Piercing Blaster gives you Pierce Free and it has a white icon, which is quite nice. 
Plasma Burst, which just does two damage, I'm quite a bit of a fan of. Primary Laser, plus two attack, not loving it. Ramming Speed, I like the artwork, it lets you get rid of an upgrade. Rapid Ascent, when you put this on a ranged character, your opponent scraps a card from their hand. It's alright, it's not amazing. Rapid Conversion, you get to flip a character to another mode and it's got a white icon, I love it. Ready for Action, lets you untap a character with 10 or fewer stars, I love it. Repair Bay, repairs one from each of your characters, it's alright. It's not amazing, but it's okay. And then we've got Team Up Tactics, which we've seen, Armor Plating, which we've seen. We've got another Data Pad, another Debilitating Crystal. I'm seeing a pattern here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm seeing a pattern here. I think we've just got two of each of these cards. I think they've taken 20 cards and giving us two of each of them. Cool. Now, one thing, and they have, just to be clear, I've double-checked that we've got two of each. I, I like this. In the Transformers TCG, you can have a playset is free. So you can have free of any particular battle card in your deck. And now, although not all of these are amazing, Plasma Burst, Cheeky Damage, I like it. Grenade Launcher, I adore. Flamethrower is quite good. Data Pad, I like. The Improvised Shield for the two orange pips. And Handheld Blaster for the two blue, I like quite a bit as well. Leap into battle, I love. And ready for action and rapid conversion, I like very much as well. It's not stunning, but you got two of all of these. So essentially, 7, 40, yeah. So they've basically taken about a quarter of the battle cards in the set, 20 out of just over 80, and they've given you two thirds of a play set of each. And a lot of these, ready for action, like I've said, data pad, grenade launcher. I expect to see a lot of play. I really like this. This, this seems really good to me. And then you combine it with four exclusive characters. As far as I'm concerned, two of which are really at least worth considering. I'm giving this two thumbs up. Two wassies, thumbs up. Two thumbs up wassies. Two wassies with thumbs in the air. This is good. This is a better pack than I was expecting. Not all of these cards are amazing. They're not all going to go into every deck you make. Armor plating, blue icon, plus one defense. Not loving it. These things happen. <laughs> but there's some good cards in here. There's exclusive characters. As far as I'm concerned, if you want to get into the Transformers TCG, probably time to go and get one of these starter sets. Alrighty then. That'll do, I think. We've seen what's in it. That was pretty cool. And yeah. I like it very much indeed. So, here's what you need to do now. Click a like. That's important. Make sure you're subscribed. So I'm going to do a lot more Transformers TCG content. That's, that's pretty important. And follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, So you can learn more of my thoughts about things. I'm going to try and do regular Transformers TCG content. As long as people are watching, etc. I'm going to keep doing that. That seems like fun to me. I want to try and become like a Transformers channel. As well as a Dragon Ball, etc. I need your help with that. So please help us out. And, you know, tell your friends. Get your friends playing Transformers. And then send them over to my channel. Or send them to my channel and I'll try and convince them to play Transformers. I think I'm a pretty persuasive dude. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching Wassy Plays.